Hi everybody, this is Juanine and welcome to my lifestyle insight regarding what I've learned about being a messenger. Being a messenger is truly something that humbles me because it's as spiritual leaders and as anybody, as we're becoming leaders in what, at whatever phase and stage we're in, everybody gets messages. Everyone gets messages. The universe is always sending us messages every moment of the day regarding answers to the prayers that we've been praying, regarding answers to the prayers that someone else has been praying, regarding answers to someone's healing for their body, whether they've been praying for it or not, because sometimes we have things that are going on with us that we are not aware of in the moment. And it takes messengers to help bring forth light into situations that are dark, rather that's dark because we choose to be in the dark or rather that's dark because we're naive whether that's a dark place because we're just not aware of the darkness at the time we've been so submerged in certain situations that we haven't even really realized that we've been in dark situations and it takes messengers each one of us playing our part to do what we can to help each other come into the light step into the light caroline you know what i'm saying right so being a messenger is something that has a lot of a responsibility as well because have you ever heard that we are the hands and feet of god so the mind of god lives within us the power of god also lives within us and the words of god is right within us as well so when we hear something so you might walk up to somebody on the street and all of a sudden it might you tell you Oh, that person's going to be a dancer and you have no clue. You don't know this person. You've never seen them before. They might not even look like a dancer at that time, but it might be you walking up to that person and saying, you know what? I see you being a dancer. If you've ever considered dancing, maybe you should go into it because it's a seed that we plant into other people's lives. If you have a pure thought, especially if it's something regarding an unbiased opinion, you've never thought about something like this before, you weren't even thinking about it at the time, then that's definitely a sign that there's an outer, there's more of a force coming upon you than just what you know within your, within yourself. We are connected to each other all in one way or another. And it takes us opening up our mouth and trusting ourselves and what we feel to share that with other people. So not only just getting, this is what I'm really dipping into here is our psychic intuition, our intuition tapping into the realm of knowingness of all things between each one of us, which has to do with your third eye, which has to do with your heart, which has to do with your crown chakra opening up and just receiving all the messages from source so that we can give this to each other and this is what I really learned about being a messenger and just trusting what I feel and I'll tell you how I tested it I went through a testing period you know what I keep getting these insights like I keep getting this feeling about this person I keep feeling even though there's absolutely no proof okay no proof of it right now but I keep getting a feeling that this is what it is so I would test it so I would just keep I would just stay there or maybe even go talk to the person about what it is that I'm feeling and it would be confirmed and it's always been confirmed. I actually, every time I go with it and I'm just going, I'm not trying to do any guesswork. I'm just going with purely what I feel. It's always been right every single time. So I encourage you to try the same thing to really learn your gift of being a messenger and learn how to trust that you have a word that you're tapping into something that's going to be a source of bridge for somebody else. We live this life, not just for ourselves, but we live it to help each other because we are all connected. We are are all connected through the God source, through the God spirit. We are, we were all made from the same creator. So I'm just so happy that you're here. Learn to trust yourself. And the way we trust it is by testing. That's it. That's the way we trust it is by testing. So don't do any guesswork about the messages that you're getting. But if you get just a natural feeling about a message that you should share, share it because it is for a reason. And not only are psychic and intuitional messages, but tell your story about yourself. This is what I've learned. It's so important because my story, all the things that I've been going through is not just been for me. And if you keep following my messages and my lifestyle insight, you will hear pieces and pieces that I am led by my intuition 
intuition about my lifestyle and the things that I've been through so that these can help you become the better person. And then we can just continue this cycle of helping each other grow with our own truth, with our own um, natural process to tapping into our intuition and, and the psychic realm of all things because we are here to help each other. Share your story. Share your story. I love you so much and I'm so happy that you're here with me for my lifestyle insight and I'll see you tomorrow. Make it a great day.